It's the first time the leader of the party has been elected on a one person, one vote outside of any parliamentary control except for the gatekeeping of the entry to the election itself. Surely that is something we should be pleased about. And MPs, well, I'm sure... Worryingly democratic moment, Oh, Jeremy Corbyn. What, frighteningly but democratic, is that what you're telling me? On the other <laughs> hand, what you, you do have this extraordinary position. We do know that there are, as it were, entries to the party who are voting for you on the right because they have said so openly. They've paid their £3 fee to vote for you, to support you, because they think it's going to destroy the Labour Party. And on the left, people from the old militant tendency, from the Communist Party coming in from that side. Are you not worried about the number of people who are not real Labour Party folk to their boots who are coming in to support your campaign? I have said all along from the very beginning, I only want people to register as Labour supporters if they are genuinely Labour supporters and they intend to stay for the longer course. Personally, I prefer it if all those supporters became party members and maybe we rejig the membership fee in order to make sure we got a larger membership because surely the idea of joining a party just to vote in a leadership election is a it's bit cynical. limited. We should, go a bit we should go a bit further than that. So if you, you that reject, as it were, entryism to support your campaign? The entryism that I see is lots of young people who are hitherto um, not very excited by politics coming in for the first time and saying, yeah, we can have a discussion. We can talk okay. about our debts and our housing problems.